Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic Best Car Fixes. Today we have Mustang 2000 and 2004. That's right. The, we have some electrical and electronic problems and my friend here he changed the engine computer. When you change the engine computer use one there is two way to go. Uh, you can use ITS, this one here, ITS platform. Right now we are programming the key. If you see we are in a programming mode. With this ideas here, you can program the computer two way. You can only program the key, you do the parameter reset. Right now we are doing the parameter reset. Or you can go by VIN number, read, you see the operation is successful. And now access guarantee, what you need to do, you're gonna come here. Don't do no keys. Just go to parameter reset because the key is already programmed to the cluster through the 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 chip that is here, the antenna that is here. Because you change the engine computer, you just go and do parameter reset means you want the car to accept the engine computer. You say, but you need two keys. We have two keys. Parameter reset is successful. What did you change? They ask you, what did you change? I say, I, I change engine computer. They say engine computer may not need two keys, but it's okay. So I did this one here. You see, we have di diagnosis. Everything come back. Now I'm gonna do like this. I turn the ignition off, take the key out, wait like six seconds or ten seconds or fifteen seconds. The owner of this car he changed there is a chip after market. They they use a chip, they open the computer, they plug a chip inside, it bypass the security. But that one, if you have an ABS or you have if you have other stuff, maybe the VIN number will trick the ABS that the ABS VIN number and the computer VIN number are different. Right now, you see the, the, that thing is blinking. I'm not sure if the modification disabled everything, but look here now, the security light is stay on and it start blinking. That means something wrong in the car itself. Now you see, it's not supposed to blink. It's supposed to be okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to put the other key. I did the key, but still we have the same problem. So if you do parameter reset, Everything's supposed to be good, but you see that here, it doesn't take in it. Is that because of the security? What do you do? What do you do on any you try to program anything or just you change the chip? No, it's hard to program it. We tried to program it a couple times, then the computer burnt out, so we had to get a new computer and we had to put a chip inside to bypass the security system. That's how we were able to get the car started before, but now it's not working. That's why you're here. Okay, we may need to uh to take that uh chip out. You try to do the keys, so all right. So I gotta go back again, and I will try to do the keys again because the I, right do, way. I did a parameter reset. If I know that, I will go back and do the key mm -hmm. and the parameter, both of them. So right now I'm gonna go back again. We do the again, and then we see if the parameter reset is already good. So the computer is already married with the body control module or the the in, the, the chip module. Okay. So I'm gonna go back again to function, and I will do the key parameter reset or it's gonna take 10 minutes this time I will do the key I will do the parameter reset and we see what happened if it take it okay if it doesn't take it we know that we, we may have to take that thing out or maybe the computer itself is better due to other issue mm -hmm. we don't know what it is but not the, not the key issue but okay. either way you're gonna fix it I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it if something needs to be fixed I will fix it for you so what about this computer that's for the v6 it's a different engine so and what that about computer is it burnt out this is your computer? Yeah, burnt out. And what, what chip you change it? Where you put it? Right over here. Oh, so you put it yeah. through this, this plug? Yeah, you gotta, turn, is, you gotta turn it the other way. Yeah, and this See? plug, yeah. And this, so you, the, the, the chip is already plugged here, right? Yeah. I believe you know, we need to take it out. Okay. Just disconnect it. Right now? Yeah. You wanna disconnect the battery yeah, first? Uh, okay, that's the chip, right? Yeah, you see behind the tape. Yeah, I see it. We may have to, I am inside the programming mode. Maybe that, that thing can conflict with the real programming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, if that the chip if the chip is there, we may have to take it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to take it out. Okay, right. You don't cut anything, no, no wire cut, no, no nothing. No, no. All okay. the wires are good, we got them checked. Okay, no, no problem. I'm gonna, right now we are in a diagnostic mode, you see here? Mm -hmm. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna finish the 10 minutes. After we finish the 10 minutes, we do all the, the, the parameters. So if it doesn't work, we're gonna take the chip that you put it out and we try to, to go with a normal, normal, normal diagnosis. But I feel like something wrong. 
something happened wrong. Yeah, could interfere. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah, because you're putting chip bypass and now you want to program the chip and here, yeah, yeah. you're going to make some problem. Oh, I see your uh, gadget, eh? Yeah, we can't we can't set them up yet because we can't start the car. Yeah, yeah, you can't do it. But they're they're working. Yeah, I see them. I think they're working fine. Okay. We are here now to see what could be done. What I'm using here, we're using the dealer tools. Mm -hmm. So everything here is original. Yeah, yeah. So if you put something after market, it may interface with it and it may not work fine. I'm gonna stop the... Okay, we did the second time because we did a parameter reset, but they say they tried to program the, the key. But I don't believe this is a key problem. For me and him here, we're gonna do the 10 minutes. 10 minutes uh, relearn and this time I will do parameter reset and I do key programming. If it doesn't work, we we are going to take, you see that, that computer where the tape is, there is a chip, they call it a bypass. Maybe that bypass will interfere or maybe there is other problem, but we're gonna look at it together. Now, in progress, you say it's successful. I wanna click next, guarantee. I'm gonna do ignition key code. Erase. I'm gonna do that. He said you need two keys. I do two keys, yes, successful. And then I will go back. I do parameter reset. I do parameter reset also. He says successful. I'm gonna say uh, parts or PCM. So I did two. I did the ignition key code erase. I did the parameter. <coughs> now we're gonna go, turn the key off, take the key out, and I will put the ferris key inside. Supposed to stay steady till to see the other one. If it's blinking, that means something wrong. So what I need to do, we're gonna take the, disconnect the battery, take the charger out, and we have to take that bypass and then we start again another way. Okay. So stay long and then, you see. It doesn't want to take, so we're going to do that now and then see what happens because... Uh, yeah, take, take the battery out. Huh? Yeah, and the battery too. Take the battery too out. Oh, the battery? Battery terminal also. <laughs> we need to, yeah, we need to disconnect the, we need to disconnect the, the, the chip on the back of the computer. Okay. Okay. Anyone? Okay, that's good now. Now go there and disconnect the, the chip that they put it here. As usual, they say they put a chip here, and that chip, it, to bypass it, they say it's work first time. Yeah, take it out. You take it out? Yeah. Give me. This is a chip that they put it into those cars to bypass the security system. That means if you put it in, the car is supposed to start right away. So now, maybe that's why what prevent. Okay, now put the key, put the, put the battery terminal. Just put it on. It's good, right? Yeah. Now we're gonna go here and we turn the key on and see what's gonna happen. Security light gonna accept? No. Yes. Now it's good. Now my car key. Okay. Now what is good? Hold on one minute. The car is running. My car is running. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put the other key. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's good. Now I'm good. Now you see. Now we took that chip out, and everything is good. After we took this, now what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna try to leave this chip here. With that aftermarket thing, nothing is gonna work. So I'm gonna do what? Push this back all the way. Push the car, put the car in the lift and see if we're gonna crank. Nothing is crank. 
security light is gone. Nothing is cranking. I suppose to get this crank, we have no security issue you now. But I see something there before it's blinking like fast. Okay, now I did this one here. Programming is okay. There is no cranking now. You have aftermarket alarm? No. no. So now the security is good, but no cranking. You can start it? There's no cranking. No cranking, you see? You see the security light? Go off yeah. now. No, that's not a big issue now. So we're gonna know why we are not able to crank. Let me now diagnose the car quick to see if there is anything, okay? Okay, self-test. All DTC. Now we have no problem with Okay, tell him to take that engine out, so we're gonna lower the car a little bit. So we're gonna start doing diagnosis. Okay. So we have a security code. We have a theft, but I don't know if this history. You. Okay, let me clear all this code. I have this code. Invalid missing data for vehicle security. No PCM identification. Okay. Clear, maybe those are history. It's okay. Now we need to take the engine away. The security light is not blinking now, but it doesn't crack. So we need to be sure that everything is okay then. It's before the car. Yeah, now it doesn't crack at all. We did the we did the part, we did everything. But it's not a problem. We can we can re, re reconfigure it again because the chip maybe interferes still. So I'm gonna do that one more. But I don't have nothing in the PCM. Only the ABS code. You say brake pedal input circuit. Okay. Brake pedal. Brake pedal input. Brake pedal input. Open or circuit. Open circuit between the brake switch and the brake light. See the brake light on? See there on the back. See the brake light is on in the back? That's the clutch, that's not the brake. Oh, I'm pushing the, okay. Oh, so that, we don't need the brake, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, the, yeah, they go on. Yeah, okay, so good. So we don't need. That's the clutch. I know, but I thought that the, we have to push the brake to see the signal. Okay, we program it with the chip in. So let me try to reprogram okay. it with the chip out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we take it from there. And meanwhile, take that engine out. So we're gonna lower it to do diagnosis, in case. I'm gonna reprogram it again with the chip out. Okay, so go to body, we need 10 minutes to do, maybe that chip bypass it and it didn't allow the computer to do it the right way. Okay, I'm gonna do 10 minutes again. And then we see what happened. I'm gonna leave everything like this and I will do parameter reset and, igni uh, and ignition key cause arrest. By the way, uh, there are some items that we don't know on this car, I just discovered. Because I come here to program this car, but I realize, um, I realize that uh, on this car, hold on, let me come back. On this car here, this car was eight cylinder, uh, six cylinder before. They changed it to eight cylinder. They changed it to eight cylinder. They changed the wire harness, they changed everything. So if this car before was six cylinder and now it's eight cylinder, and there is no clutch switch there. They say they took it out. So if you don't have there, how you by pushing the clutch, the car gonna crank and start. That's also one thing. So now I'm gonna try to do the parameter reset again. I'm gonna do ignition key call erase. And after that, I would do successful. I gotta go back again. I gotta do parameter reset as usual. Okay, and we have to go electrically look for the stuff. Electrically look for why success, what did change BCM. Now I'm done. So I'm gonna go here, take the ferris key. You see the car is in reset mode. I'm gonna turn the ignition off. And I will turn the ignition on. 
it's supposed to stay on and off. If you stay on till now, you have to wait. The car will not, the car will not, that light will never go off till you have to do what? Ignition, uh, the second key. So I'm gonna present the second key. And this is what I think is the right way. I'm gonna put the second key inside. Wait, the light will go off. Now I know I'm good. So now maybe before I program it with the chip, with this chip in it. Now, you see now, we're gonna go, is it? Key is gone. Now, can you put that relay for me? The relay. The relay, I took it out. Check it and then. Ah, no, it's okay. I got something, I got something. I tried to push the clutch. They say somebody took, took something from the clutch. If they took it from the clutch, it's not gonna help. Okay, now let me see. Let's see, I can't. See. I have nothing now. The security is good. It's not crunk. It's nothing. So what I what I need? To, huh? Clicking is good. If the relay is clicking, we are in a good position. We're in a good thing. Now the relay is clicking. Hold on. Okay. Now see something. The relay. Can you do it again? Go crank it. You know, push the button. The... They say there is nothing there. Can you push the push the clutch too? Even though there is nothing, just push it. Clunk. Okay. The relay is clicking. That's good. That means we have everything here. But maybe the star are getting nothing. The star are giving straight back. Maybe the car maybe the star is thick. Where is the star? It's under. Because this one here. Maybe they, they bypass the clutch. I'm going to put here. Okay. This is... Crank. This is the ground. Yeah. Okay, this is the power. Crank. Yeah, you, you hear? So this is the starter. We don't have nothing. We have no ground coming from the starter. Pick up the car. Let's see where okay, the starter is. Try to start it over here. Sta no, but there no, is no, nothing. No, press the button. Nothing here. You don't have nothing. Nothing, but let's go now. We are good. So let's put. Let, because yeah, I supposed to get. Put. Yeah, we're going to try from there. Maybe the wire is disconnected. Okay. Stay go safe. up, go up, go up with the Stay car. Safe. The star rail is clicking, which is it? Click it again. We don't, you don't need to push the... Well, again? Don't push the... Okay, now the star clicking. The power passed, but it doesn't reach the star. So we got... Huh? No problem. But the relay is sending the power. So we are good. So we're gonna go up now. <laughs> Open the door, I gotta put this inside. Let it. So now we're gonna go up here. The star is supposed to give us a feedback. We don't get any feedback from the star. We have to understand how those things work because if you don't understand how this thing works, Ferris, I see one wire. I don't know what this wire for, but this is something else. We're gonna go inside here. This boy put all the money inside, okay. so the star is here, right? Use the light. Okay. Switch. Now, that's the relay, right? This is the wire for relay. Yeah. Okay. You see here? You see here? We have something, right? Yeah. Okay. Start it. Crank. Crank. There is nothing. Okay, leave the key on, okay? Okay, you can start it? Yeah. Okay, now we're good. Now we're gonna see the star. This, this the wire. Yeah, this wire broke Black. somewhere. Uh, red and white. Get the wiring diagram, we're gonna see where. Uh oh. Oh, it is. That's okay, we're gonna get it that easy. Maybe the pillar. Stop it, stop the engine. Okay, shut it off. Shut it off. Oh, the cover, nobody tied it back. It's good. So we know what it is. So tight it, we're gonna go down and see and, and, and look for that wire where it's come from. Because that wire, we're gonna need we need the, the wiring diagram. Oh, look here. This is a starter wire, right? Look here. This is a starter wire, right? Look here. 
This is the star away. Something pinch it here, maybe. If nothing pinch it, we're gonna look at it. That's the star away. This is the star away. Look. No, look, look this star away here. This is the star away. Maybe something. You see this wire here? This is the star away. So we're gonna check if nothing broke here, or if nothing broke there, we're gonna go up and look for this wire, where it's come from. Maybe it's got disconnected, yeah, this is the wire. Here is good, maybe it's pinched somewhere. Okay, hold like this. Hold like this, hold, hold like this. Oi, open the ignition. Open the ignition, test it here for me. Okay, hold this for me, Biro. Hold the light for me, Biro. Hold the light for me. Hold this, hold this. Hold this. Thank you. Okay, I gotta just try something, okay? You have raised the blade? Raise the blade, yeah. Yeah, give me raise the blade. I just want to check the continuity. Where are we missing this? You see all this stuff here? This is why I have to be routed good. Because in here, like, almost pinch, pinch very bad. So hopefully the wire is not cut somewhere. All this have to be good. And then we're gonna go there to see the wiring diagram where this is messed. I know that the, the, the starter is clicking, but is there any fuse or not, I'm not sure. Or you're putting that thing that leaking, right? If you don't do the diagnosis the right way, we're gonna lose the time. You have to have wiring diagram first. And then be sure that all is electrical. Right now, the star is sending power, but we don't know why it's not coming. Maybe the relay is bad too, who knows? Let me, let me see. Okay, Biro. Biro's. Or... Okay. Biro's. One minute. Oh, okay. Hold this for me. Is the video hold it here from this side? Yeah. Now watch there. I gotta, I gotta do a quick here. Test here. I want to see if uh, if I have something here. Okay. Here is good. So we're gonna put the car down and look up. Okay. What the, uh, you done with the you done with the oil there? No, no, no. Now we need you to give us some wire in diagram. So we remove the performance and the bypass wire. Uh, we program it. The way we program it while the bypass wire is inside for the key, it doesn't work. So what we did is we removed that one, and now we are going back to be sure that the wire have to go, uh, the wire have to have continuity. The relay is clicking, but under the maybe there is a piece, I don't know. So we gotta look at the wire in diagram. Stay with us. We're putting the car down now. We're putting the, the, the car down now. Our job now, the computer is programming. Security is good. Our job now is to see where that relay coming. Maybe there is a fuse somewhere before it reach, and that if the fuse is pop up or the wire broke, or maybe the, that thing is not the star wire. I'm sure that's star wire. Oh, I see. You see the wire is coming. This is a wire here. This is the wire going there, coming back here. Huh? You see, this is the wire. You see, this wire is disconnected. I found it. I found the, the, the crazy wire here. Don't come out. We're gonna look for something. Come here. Come here. Where is this coming? It come out from somewhere. Yeah, here, here. I got it. I got it. I got the baby. I got it here. The craziest thing here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Now I'm gonna plug this crazy one here and I wanna show you a test. Uh, crank it for me, please. Crank it. Leave it. Again, crank. Leave it. Crank. Good. Now here, give me this one. Hold this for me. Now here, ignition on. Okay, I'm gonna say one, two, three. Why? Your, your restart is crazy sometimes. No power, not enough power. Okay, push this one here. Push it here, push it here. That's where the power is not coming from the relay. Okay, click. You did it? Happy?
look great. <laughs> I could kiss you if it wasn't for COVID. Give me one here. <laughs> Before, <laughs> behind the thing. That's enough. Thank you very much for watching Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Uh, please subscribe, share, and like. I'm doing my best to do whatever I can do to have the best information and best repair. And if you are happy, please, that's the, this video is going to be on. <laughs> You're going to enjoy the summer, I know. This video is going to be on in five minutes now. Okay. You're going to go there, you say whatever you say, whatever you do. Subscribe, comment, like, all and of it, share. Right? And then share, when you drive. Turn on the notifications, everything. <laughs> And when you are when when you okay with it and you drive, please show us how you drive and when you put those. I'll send you the it. video. And then I'm gonna add on. And this is gonna be video number one. Sorry, it's very long, 25 minutes. You know, remember, if you put uh, performance and stuff inside the car, you're gonna have problems. Take it out. I don't know, but <laughs> when you buy the computer, you try just to look for a technician to program it the right way. Like you. Thank you for watching. Like my friend over here. <laughs> Thank you very much, please, and uh, share, like, and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Put the shit on the table. Put the shit on the table.